my name is Gitanjali and uh, I am a DevOps engineer at Salesforce. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something basic and something fundamental that is consensus problem in a distributed system. Okay, what is consensus in a distributed system, right? So a distributed system is a um, group of network uh, components that act as a single entity. And these components are never perfect. They're prone to hardware, software, network, all sorts of failures. And um, uh, in order for them to act as a single entity, they have to agree on some data value. So that is consensus. Agreeing on some data value by all the system components in a distributed system is consensus. All right. Uh, why do we need consensus, you ask, right? Okay, um, let's take a sample, you know, distributed database where uh, the data is uh, replicated across all data nodes. And um, in any such distributed scenario, we will encounter these, uh, these problems. So ordering of the updates. So uh, orders, uh, the updates, orders of the updates should, should be the same for all the data nodes so that the data will be consistent. And um, in any distributed system, the deduction, uh, the failure deduction is important because for the distributed system to act as a single entity, they must be aware of the uh, cluster membership, right? So that's failure deduction. And uh, um, uh, mutual exclusion. For example, if uh, um, multiple components are trying to access the same resource at the same time, uh, um, exclusive access to a resource should be possible. So uh, that is mutual exclusion. And of course, the leader election, which uh, we are uh, very well aware of. Uh, if at all, in this case, for example, if we want to redirect all the rights to a particular leader, a leader election process has to take place. So these are set of common scenarios that we encounter in a distributed system. And and these are all directly related to consensus because we need consensus to uh, solve all these uh, distributed system problems. All right, um, so there are multiple uh, algorithms available, multiple uh, softwares available to obtain consensus in a distributed system. And um, here are some like, you know, basic uh, properties that any consensus algorithm uh, should adhere to. That is agreement. Uh, that is every component in a in the system must agree on the same value so yeah that is agreement that is consensus basically and validity that is um, if all the components propose the same value and that value must be agreed on so that's like unanimous election and termination uh, if all the components must propose a value must decide on some value and uh, if a decision cannot be made, if an agreement cannot be made, the decision must be not deciding because the process has to terminate. Otherwise, the system will stall forever and uh, uh, that's why we need like all these properties uh, for any consensus uh, protocol. Okay, so here are some like prominent consensus algorithms already uh, like uh, uh, theorized. That is Paxos, Raft, and Zap. And we, um, we have uh, various softwares already available which implements these algorithms like Google Stubby implements uh, some variant of Paxos and uh, Console and HCD um, uh, implements Raft and uh, Apache Zookeeper implements Zap. Uh, so if at all you are designing a distributed system, we can uh, leverage uh, all these already existing software to obtain consensus or to solve the uh, said problems in your distributed system. All right, I uh, hope that talk is helpful and I'm done. <laughs> Thank you.